As you drive around Detroit, it's not hard to notice that a lot of the landmarks in the city have been neglected, especially the architectural landmarks. It's clear that at one time the city was, was booming, was bustling. We had more homes, more infrastructure, more apartment buildings, more churches in the 1920s than any other place in the country. Detroit was known as the city of churches. Some of the factories that we've got to the Michigan Central Station, there wasn't a use for anymore. And those buildings, I think people really wanted to save them because of their iconic class, but there was just nothing they could do with them, so they've sat there. If you start getting off the main, the main drags, if you get off the freeway and you drive the roads, you can realize that you turn down a street, southwest Detroit, and you're in 1950 Detroit. You drive over in some of the other neighborhoods and you'll turn down a street and you're in 1920s Detroit. There are parts of Detroit that still exist, it's not cohesive, but there are still parts of Detroit that look exactly as they used to. The, the ruins of Detroit show what it was in the past and hopefully reflect on what we can make of it in the future. Albert Kahn was known for many different kinds of buildings, for residential buildings, for um, business headquarters and things like that, uh, but probably his most uh, important influence in the city was his open floor plans that he built into factories and he built a lot of the, the automotive um, facilities around the city. He was not an auto designer, he was not an auto salesman, but he made it possible for the auto companies to work very efficiently and make automobiles at an incredible rate. Albert Kahn's most iconic building in town is the, is the Fisher Building uh, in the New Center area, but he built the original Highland Park plant, he built some of the Port Authority buildings that were down on the riverfront. There are a lot of buildings in this town that still carry Albert Kahn's fingerprints on them. If he didn't design them, the people who were designing those buildings were looking at Albert Kahn as the leader and the, the, the real uh, driving force between that kind of industrial design. The arsenal of democracy is a term that was applied to Detroit because we had the ability to manufacture almost anything that the United States government needed for the war effort in World War II. Um, every, every organization that manufactured things in Detroit helped with the war effort. The Packard Company built uh, engines for airplanes, engines for ships. Uh, the Ford Motor Company was building airplanes. They were building vehicles, um, everything from armored vehicles to, uh, to automobiles. We had the Chrysler Group was getting into building tanks and that kind of thing. Once the war was over, um, that's when the decline started. Late 40s, early 50s, we started losing car companies. We started losing suppliers. Um, and, and that's when the exodus from Detroit began. The neighborhoods of Detroit, many of them, many of them are gone, literally gone. The houses are gone. Because Detroit had so many families, we had lots and lots of schools. We had lots of parochial schools. We had lots of public schools. At one time, Detroit had the best public school system in the country. Um, because many of those people have moved on, the schools are empty, and when an empty school sits, an empty school rots and it collapses, and it becomes a, a blight on the neighborhood. When people who don't know Detroit come to Detroit and see the architecture that's here, both the stuff that is actively uh, taken care of and the things that have become ruins, they can see Detroit as it, as it once was and the possibilities for the future. I think they're surprised. Visitors from out of town who come in are are flabbergasted at the architecture that this city holds. Detroit has the opportunity to rebound. I, I, I like to think that we're at the forefront of urban regeneration. We were up higher than most, and we fell lower than most, and the chance of coming back is, is up to the people of Detroit.